Joined by Dr. Rob Neal, founder of Golf Biodynamics, a researcher extraordinaire. He's just finished a wedge project that is, well, it's going to change how people think about how to hit their wedges. And today we're going to talk about face angle. Spill yeah. the beans, Ozzy, spill the beans. So face angle for a normal golf shots is where the leading edge is pointed, right, man? So yeah, it certainly is. So I've got my wedge here, but if it was a if it was a two iron, you know, wherever the leading edge is pointing is a pretty good indicator of where in fact the face is pointing. And where yeah, the face it, points is probably about where the ball's going to go, right? But that's not the case with a lofted club? No, it changes a lot. And I'd like Ooh. you to show show the people here how when you put a lot of loft on the yeah. club that the ball doesn't know about the leading edge now, it just knows about the loft on the... Yeah, th this is really interesting. So I'm going to ask Henry to come in here really close. So it would be easy to think, well, that's going to be the angle that the ball will leave the club face. And, and if that's pointing at the target, well, now, if I open my face, it's going to go to the right. With a lofted club, it doesn't. Just really look at this, if we can just see the club head. I can open the club an incredible amount... And if I happen to change the lie of the club, that club face is probably almost 45 degrees leading edge open. However, the magnet, which gives us a good representation of where the ball will leave, is not pointing to the right at all. No, it's if actually I, pointing to the left of your target right now, Martin. So by well, I, I, I would fear for the safety of my left nostril if I actually hit <laughs> one from there, because I think it goes straight up in the air. The point being, though, that just because you see a really good player open the face up a lot with the wedge. It doesn't mean the ball's going to go to the right, does it? Exactly. I remember standing in the bunker with Bernard Langer one time, and the face was like that, and I was standing about where you are. I thought he was going to hit me, but he didn't. So uh, why? what is that, Rob? What is that? Well, it's, it's when you get a, a three-dimensional object now that we're looking at, and the ball just knows about the surface. So right. don't think about the leading edge with your wedge your wedge play, you've got to think, oh, where is it now with the loft plane of the club? And that's why, because I'm going to hit one now, this is going to go fairly high, so I'm not going to hit it too hard for fear of putting it up there in the rafters. But just because the face is wide open, it doesn't mean in this instance that the ball will start way to the right. I've got the face wide open. I always tend to dress it off the toe when it's wide open. And I'll just slide that right under and it didn't go to the right at all so point being this is another of dr neil's fine point being it's not the leading edge that gives the ball its direction the club face strange though it seems the club face is more from what the three-dimensional center of the face did yep. i butcher that or was no it? that's perfect <laughs> okay it's good it's good enough so if you want height, one of the things you're going to have to do is open up the face, isn't it? Yep, and then you can have to manage the direction by uh, perhaps uh, lowering the lie angle a little bit, lowering your hands. So now you know why when you watch Golf Channel on a Sunday afternoon and you see all these players opening the face such a lot, now you know why it doesn't shoot off to the side.